Live from Exeter, it's ESN. The dance will be Friday, March 4th at the Memorial Building and tickets are only sold out the door. This year's theme is spring break and vacation wear. No bathing suits will be allowed, ladies. And to get into the dance, you must bring your student ID. Also, don't forget to upload your pictures to Instagram using EUHS Sadies. Who knows, they might be featured on an ESN episode. Anyone interested in military information? Next week, Marine recruiting officers will be here Monday and the Navy will be here Tuesday during lunch. They will be glad to answer any questions and give information. Attention all Monarchs, if you are interested in helping our school's Relay for Life team, please stop by room 14 to see Ms. Bachman. We have big plans to make this another great year here at UHS. Also Monarchs, the Nutrition Services will be offering a non-meat entree in addition to the entree on the menu on Fridays for the next six weeks. So, you may only choose one. Enjoy. Well, that wraps this week's bulletin. Now over to some giveaways with Andrew. Hey guys, it's Andrew here with some giveaways. First up, we have Kirkman's VIP Pizza. Their special is two slices and a large drink for $5. This week's winner is a box of Destiny. Elizabeth Woods. Go pick up your prize in the office. We have Jack's Cafe. They have the best movies in town. Go give them a try. This week's winner is. Yeah? Okay. Alright, that's cool. Thanks. Deanna Hill. Go pick up your prize in Miss Reed's office. Back to you in the studio. Are you wondering what this week's sports scores were? Well, Dan will be telling us this week's right now. Hey, it's Dan here with the sports. Over the weekend, Jacob Good and Dawson Boland took first place in the league for extra wrestling. On Wednesday night, Lady Monarch basketball had a successful senior night conquering them for 61-36, improving their overall record to 21-7. Boys basketball unfortunately fell short in Dinuba. That's fine. Boys and girls basketball are waiting for seeding. Girls' soccer season came to a close after losing 1-0 against Bakersfield South. Sorry ladies, but great job on a fantastic season. Men's soccer take on Fraser Mount for a quarterfinal game this Thursday at home. Hope everyone can make it there. Well, that's it for sports. Back to you guys in the studio. Do you know what time it is, Bryce? Yeah, of course. It's time for some Ewok. <laughs> hey guys, Clay here. Gonna ask some questions for Ewok. How many turns was Benjamin Franklin president? <laughs> Two. How many terms was Benjamin Franklin president? None. How many terms was Benjamin Franklin president? Terms? Yeah. Two. How many terms was Benjamin Franklin president? Two. What's north of the USA? Canada. Okay. What's north of the USA? What country is north of the USA? California. What's north of the USA? Mm, yeah. <laughs> What's north of the USA? I have no idea. I don't know. What's north of the USA? Uh, I don't know, bro. Guess. Um, Ecuador? Ecuador. If you pass the person in second place, what place do you win? First? If you pass this person in second place during a race, what place do you win? I'll uh, get in first place. If you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? First. Back to the studio. Now over to some epic or fail with the one and only Ryan Buchanan. Alright, so I'm seeing our lone basketballer dude right here, not wearing a shirt. Probably for aerodynamic purposes. Oh my god. He's running, oh he's god. yelling, and he's up. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see something wild. I, I, I'm feeling it. And no, uh, like, you just couldn't mount that car. Poor guy. All right, we got some WNBA stars right here. Probably gonna do something crazy. Uh, 
She's dribbling, she's dribbling, and she's she's trying to mount the girl and get up there and go to the hoop. Is she gonna take it to the hoop? And nope. She eats it. Poor girl. Alright, we got our big basketballer guy right here. Nice shoes, nice guy. I'm liking this. And he's up and he's on the hoop. And he's jumping off the backboard. What's he doing? He's he might do a flip. And he's he's dunking it. What a what a, what a guy. Alright, we got our slick rick white basketball sensation right here. And he's jumping. He's on the trampoline and he's midair. Got some serious altitude under him. Could have hurt him maybe, but we don't know what's gonna happen. And he he dunks it. What a wizard. Alright, that's all for this time, Monarchs. Back to you guys in the studio. Now with an interview from Mr. Jones. Hey, it's Chip Clay. Here with Mr. Jones. Got a couple questions for you. So, Mr. Jones, where'd you go to college? I uh, went to Sea West for two years, and then I went to Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo, Go Mustangs for uh, three years. And then I did my credential after that. Where did you grow up? Uh, from age, from kindergarten to third grade, I lived in Camarillo, California, which is on the central coast. And then I moved to the big town of Exeter in fourth grade, and I graduated from Exeter High School. Favorite teacher in high school? Uh, I, I don't think I could say my favorite teacher would be one teacher, so I'm going to say I'm pretty fast. Mr. Sanders, Mr. Kemp, uh, Miss McClung, Mr. Allison, Mr. Van Lanningham. I got to say, Mrs. McClung. Ms. McClung uh, made a huge difference in my life, and uh, she's why I became one of the reasons I became a teacher. And what was the craziest thing that happened in high school? Uh, craziest thing that happened in high school. I'm not going to tell the whole story, but if you know me or have me in class or on a wrestling trip, I'll tell you the whole story because it's too long to tell now. But I will tell you right now that um, in my high school yearbook, my senior year, there is a two-page flip out, uh, photo of the event. And the event included uh, a pretty good-looking girl, a cheerleader, and my mom. So if you ever want to know the story, and it was at a rally. So I don't know if it's really crazy, but it was crazy embarrassing. And uh, that's what people would remember about me in my high school senior year. So that's the crazy part. I'll tell you sometime if you want to know about it. Oh, what's your favorite part about teaching or coaching here at Exeter? Uh, teaching and coaching are very similar. Uh, I would say they're the same. I think you teach or coach. Uh, I think good coaches teach and good teachers coach. I think the best thing for me about teaching or coaching anywhere would be helping people achieve the impossible. Uh, helping, helping people do the things that they don't believe they can do. Uh, that's the most gratifying thing. And then obviously having running into people five, ten years down the road and hearing their stories. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, go Monarchs. All right, that concludes our interview with Mr. Jones. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thanks. All right, back to you guys in the studio. Well, that wraps up this week's ESN. And remember, stay classy, Monarchs.